Hey guys, it's Aiden from WizKid Science, and I'm going to show you my top six balloon experiments. Number six is the skewer through the balloon trick. All you need for this experiment is a skewer, a balloon, and some vegetable oil. First, cover your skewer in vegetable oil. This will make it easier to slide through the balloon, but don't get a sliver. Now, blow your balloon all the way up and let a third of the air out. Now tie the end. The balloon is made up of strands of molecules called polymers. As we blow it up, the molecules begin to stretch. If we look at the balloon, the dark spots at the top and the bottom are where the balloon has stretched the least. This is where we're going to insert the skewer. Oh. Yay! That is so cool! The molecules stretch around the skewer and keep the air inside the balloon. Try this trick at home and impress your friends. Number five is how to make a balloon powered car. First, we're going to make this one in the package. It's called the Cosmic Jet Racer. Then we're going to try and make one out of Lego and a balloon. So what it is, is it's a little plastic car with four wheels and there's a balloon. So what you have to do is blow the balloon up and then attach it to this piece inside there and watch the car zoom. So what we've done is we've attached the balloon to the car and now I'm going to blow it up and see if we can make this car go. Once the air is pushed out of the balloon, it pushes the jet racer in the opposite direction. This is Isaac Newton's third law of motion. Isaac Newton is considered one of the greatest scientists of all time. His third law of motion states that for every reaction, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Now, let's try and build one out of Lego. I've made a spot for the balloon to go through. Let's go test it out. Three, two, one. You should try making your own balloon powered car. Number four is the pin pop. Try resting a balloon on a single pin. Now we're going to add more pins. Let's see what happens. Instead of putting the balloon on one pin, now we're going to put it on a group of pins. It should distribute the pressure across all of the pins, kind of like how I distributed all my weight across a dozen eggs. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check out my top five egg experiments. Let's try this balloon. Hasn't popped yet. That is pretty cool. Number three is how to make a hovercraft. A hovercraft is a vehicle that travels over land or water. It floats on a cushion of air. Here's what you'll need to make your own hovercraft. A lid from some dish soap or a water bottle, some balloons, some tape, a push pin, a CD or DVD, and some hot glue. First, take your cap off your water bottle or dish soap. I'm going to make two.
Next, take some tape and cover up the hole of the middle of your CD. Then, take your push pin and poke six holes in the middle. Next, hot glue your lid onto the middle of the CD. You may want a parent to help you with the hot glue. Make sure your lid is closed, then take a small balloon, stretch it out so it is easy to blow up, then blow your balloon up, then hold it by the neck. Then slide the balloon over top of your lid. As you can see, I have the balloon over the lid. I want to make sure that the neck is over the lid as much as possible. Your balloon should be able to stand up freely. I found it a lot easier to put the balloon on the dish soap lid than the water lid. I'm going to open the lid. When I open the lid, the air from the balloon is going to slip out through the holes in the bottom of the tape. The CD will begin floating on a thin pocket of air. Number two is the old balloon in the flame trick. I'm going to blow up this balloon and hold it over a flame. <coughs> Make sure you have a parent with you while doing this experiment. Now hold your balloon over the flame. <laughs> what happened? It popped again. Now we're going to pour some water in the balloon and then hold it over the fire. The water in the bottom of the balloon should pull the heat away from the flame and hopefully the balloon doesn't pop. Let's test it out. And it worked. And number one is balloon blow up. Today we're going to do balloon blow up. Here's what you'll need. A clear bottle, some vinegar, two tablespoons of baking soda, a balloon, and two funnels. First what we're going to do is take a funnel and fill your bottle halfway with vinegar. Next, take your balloon and stretch it out really good so it can blow up. Then, take your funnel and put two tablespoons of baking soda into your balloon. Put your balloon over the bottle, but don't let any baking soda into the bottle. Then, Take your balloon and carefully pour the baking soda into your bottle. 
watch it blow up. As you can see, I probably used a bit too much baking soda and vinegar. There you have your balloon blow up. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch my last video, Top 5 Egg Experiments. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, WizKid Science. Make sure to check out my other two channels, WizKid Math and WizKid Play.